true, voodoo rain stick. I'm a half white, half Mexican American woman. I visited Mexico for the first time when I was 10, and my sister was 8. Cancun. We went with my mom and grandma one night into town away from the resort. They speak Spanish, so we felt comfortable. I remember there were dirt roads and young children selling gum. My family came across a table in front of a store with lots of silver jewelry sprawled across it. I'm not sure where the rain stick came from. Whether it was sitting on the table or someone else walked up with it. I just remember a Mexican showing the handmade rain stick to my little sister, and after a minute, my grandma gave some pesos to the person for it. It was one. Five inches wide and about 13 inches long. It was cylinder shaped and made of wood. Flat on the ends. It looked really old and worn, but it was sturdy. There were three colorful bands of twine on each end. If you tilted it slowly to either side, it sounded just like rainfall. I assumed there was rice inside hitting little sticks as it fell down. We went back to the hotel with our newfound trinkets. Fast forward to when I was 18 in 2007. I and my mom were living in a one-bedroom apartment in Plano, Texas. My sister was living in Michigan with our father. The computer desk was right next to the bed. There was a shelf on the other side of the bed with pictures on it. My mom had been going through old belongings and placed the rain stick on the left side of the shelf. I was sitting on the bed and my mom was sitting down in front of the computer. I was bored and picked up the rain stick to hear the soothing sound of rain and bring back memories of my childhood. I thought it would be fun to start shaking it like an instrument and made a musical beat. As soon as I did that, I was in front of a fire in a circle of black people wearing little clothing. We were all sitting, surrounded by tall grass. No buildings, just out in nature. Their appearance and the feeling there was tribal. I was playing the rain stick, shaking it while some were chanting a foreign language I did not recognize. I noticed my hands were black and suddenly, I was back on the bed and my mom and I smelled smoke. It smelled like there was a fire burning in the apartment. We then witnessed a white fog slither up out of the rain stick. We screamed at the top of our lungs. We ran out of the apartment as I dropped the stick. We calmed each other down, thinking about what we should do. I told her about the vision I had while playing the rain stick. She decided we need to find a curandera or C-U-R-A-N-D-E-R-O the clear spirits from homes. We figured it had been used for voodoo or something and wondered where this thing originated from. We realized that we did not know exactly how old the thing was and how many people owned it before us. We prayed that whatever came out of that stick did not follow us to the car. We were freaked out scrambling through a phone book seeking a curandera. We drove to the Mexican side of a town desperately seeking a curandera, but it was past 10 pm and all the spirit psychic shops were closed. We built up enough courage to return home. The smell of campfire was gone. I called this fatfic musician I was dating at the time. His mom was a very well-respected psychic in Dallas. He told me to wrap the stick in red material and place it in the closet next to the front door. After two hours, I and Mama Bear felt uncomfortable with it still in the house and placed it right outside our front gate. The next day, one of my sister's friends came by. A Native American dude we referred to as Ashtray. He knew I liked smoking ganja and brought a joint. I asked if he could get a bag of bud for me. He had mentioned he was hanging with a friend that night, but had not brought him over BC we did not know him. Ashtray left to get my sack. I left to walk two buildings over to hang with this hot guy I knew while I waited. I noticed at the building facing ours was a dude about 16 years old standing behind a staircase staring at our apartment. I assumed it was Ashtray's friend waiting for him to come back. I said, you do not have to wait out here dude. You can come in. He did not say shit and came inside. We were chilling, watching TV. Ashtray returned with the dime bag and we all got stoned. Eventually, the dude I found behind the stairs said he had to take off. He left and I asked Ashtray how they had been friends. He told me he did not know that guy and the friend he said that he did not bring was at his apartment the whole time. I was pretty freaked out and told my mom about it. All three of us opened the door and noticed the rain stick was gone. We know that creepy fucker took it. 
My sister came back from Michigan the next day. I described the guy from the stairs and she knew who I was talking about. A week later, she informed me that he had not been at school for several days and his parents were looking for him. I had a feeling it had to do with him stealing our haunted rain stick. Stop. It end when I say it ends. Now, be a nice human and scroll down and hit the like button. And if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe now. Thanks for watching.